If you are offended or triggered by fandoms, Tumblr, or 4chan, don't blast your beef about it to me. Get professional help. After all, this is just a video with some research and an opinion. So, 4chan versus Tumblr, or Tumblr versus 4chan since Tumblr started it, are making quite a big stink in the internet now because apparently Shutdown 4chan was the initiator. If you look on their little website in Tumblr, shutdown4chan.tumblr.com, you'll see their responses and blah blah blah, etc. etc. Questions and social justice. Um, basically a lot of back and forth between what they post on 4chan. So, they decided to DDoS, or delay denial of service, 4chan, thinking that was going to be the best option considering making all this attention whoring be their end and make it a better world because they will quote unquote win. Now, 4chan didn't like that. They made the response by flooding all of the tags with a lot of gore among other things that are otherwise deemed inappropriate and would get me banned on YouTube if I were to show them right off the bat without it being for some entertainment purpose. So, that totally didn't work out for Tumblr, now did it? Oh wait, Super Hulak, they're thinking that, hey, they actually didn't do it right, let's be the best fandom on Tumblr and be the ones that are all the appropriate social justice warriors and bloggers to make the win. Because apparently reading Sherlock makes you the best detective on knowing what to do with 4chan, when 4chan does not even care one bit but will knock the crap out of you if you hit the hornet's nest. And pretty much that's what this is, striking the hornet's nest with a stick repeatedly. Because Tumblr thinks social justice is going to be the best option every single time, especially when it backfires over and over and over. Because more people in fandoms are apparently starting to culminate and make an attack to 4chan thinking, we're gonna beat 4chan! No one beats 4chan. 4chan doesn't care and they are so huge and perpetual it would take a nuclear explosion on every user in order for the site to be gone and rid of every user, but given the fact that almost every other person uses 4chan, you'd pretty much be knocking out half of the first world population. So what I'm saying is, you're kind of hitting something that can't be knocked down repeatedly because you think social justice is the right move to make. 4chan doesn't care about what they say, they use every racial slur, every offensive term just to rile someone up because that is classic troll logic. And usually trolls don't really care and they'll keep going if you get them the response that they're looking for. And right now you're giving them the response they're looking for and they're enjoying the hell out of this and they won't stop and apparently Tumblr, if you won't stop, this is gonna keep going and going and going until it reaches local news or national news, I don't know which depending on if it's Fox News, CNN, ABC, NBC, or whoever else does news. This will probably get there at some point, knowing you guys, because I'm pretty sure you're just gonna go like, Oh, well, we're doing the right thing, and you're an idiot for saying we're doing it wrong. I'm expecting those kind of comments on my video, because Social Justice Warriors, as Social Justice Warriors, like to use offensive terms and kind of yell and not care about who they're talking to, but what about triggers? I mean, I have triggers, don't I? I mean, come on, I mean, being offensive triggers me, not really, because I'm half offensive in the meantime because, well, I'm a snarky smartass. So, what I'm saying is, 4chan is not gonna stop, and Tumblr, if you continue acting so ignorant about the actions of 4chan, this is not gonna end very well. I'm just putting that out there, just saying, just stating the obvious for this segment, but, well, Let's just watch this and see how it goes. I'll be eating some popcorn in the background. And invite a few friends, maybe, and pull up a lawn chair, but... Hey, Tumblr, you're not exactly the... F this isn't exactly the first time you've, um... Stepped on some dog dew and thought, Oh, I can just keep stepping onward and it'll be fine. This is really stinky dog dew, I'm just saying. So, with that being said, good luck, Tumblr. You're gonna need it. Whether you like it or not, it's gonna be there until YouTube decides that, oh hey, we're gonna take that out. And Zidane, your bell ringing is ruining this video. Thank you. It's a cat with the bell who likes to be on Nuzly. He's an annoying thing, but not as annoying as YouTube is getting with its features. 